Hey everyone, so today this video is going to be about Chanel. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about whether or not I think Chanel is still worth your money. Um, I'm also going to be talking about the price raises and comparing sizes and bags and also comparing leathers with the Chanel bags that I have. And we're really going to be getting into whether or not Chanel is still worth your money. Um, and I think you might be surprised with my answer at the end. So yeah, let's get into it. So when it comes to me and Chanel, this was my first Chanel bag. I, this is my baby, you guys. I wear this bag every single day. I just love this bag so so much so when it comes to this bag this bag because I wear it probably 200 times a year um, it just happens to be my favorite that's why I wear it so many times this bag has had some ups and downs to say the least so I'm going to show you guys some of the wear and tear that has happened to this bag since I got it in 2018 and as it being my main bag, my everyday bag of choice, it's it's seen a lot, okay? I don't baby my bags, so hopefully you won't be shocked when I show you these things. So first thing I wanted to show you are kind of the corners of the flap. And for me, that is normal wear and tear. After wearing this bag for almost four years, basically, um, I think that's completely normal for that part of the bag to look like that. So that doesn't actually bother me at all. Um, I'm going to actually show you the part that really bothers me about this bag and the part that I take issue with. We all know Chanel doesn't use real hardware on their plain leather flat bags. Now, they do have a newer bag that my friend just sent me a picture of. And it's this one right here. And I think that might have like real gold hardware on it because it's like a metal bag so I would hope so um so I think that bag probably has real gold hardware on it but I think the rest of them no it's like if you get gold hardware it's gold plated hardware not real gold so that brings me to what I'm going to show you next which is Do you see that? It might be hard to see. Now that might be hard to see, but hopefully you can focus in. So the gold plating has been rubbed off since this is a bag that gets a lot of use. And it is now like basically silver. Um, and maybe a little bit of like a coppery color. It's like three shades of metal, which are not gold. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that actually probably bothers me the most about this bag because they're charging $10,000 for this bag. This is a jumbo flap, so it's currently $9,800. It'll probably be raised up to $10,200 soon or something like that. Um, but I'm going to be honest, guys, I do not feel that a black jumbo flap, medium flap, small flap, rectangle, whatever, I don't feel like the double flap is worth your time if it is just a plain black bag with gold hardware. I actually think you should get this on the secondhand market or on a vintage market. And my reason for saying that is because you can get a really nice vintage bag that has real gold hardware and I think you'll be saving money probably because unfortunately no matter how hard Chanel works at raising their prices they will never have the resale value of Hermes in my personal opinion and I think we all know that they are raising their prices based solely off of their name not raising their prices based off of their quality based off of like handcrafted bag and like real hardware and like you know 
no they're just not i really feel like chanel is like missing the ball and they are actually pricing themselves out of a market where most people would spend five thousand dollars for their bags easy six thousand dollars seven thousand but ten thousand when the quality has not gone up in over a decade i just don't you can't make that make sense i'm sorry you can't and for me with this bag since this is my everyday bag i will tell you guys what happened i told the people on my private instagram about this when it first happened i wish i still had the picture but honestly it would probably make me very angry if i kept looking at the picture so this part right here on this bag do you guys see how that moves not that it's not supposed to move it is but this part of my bag completely fell off in 2021 it completely fell off it was doing a little wobbly situation and then one day i reached for my bag in my car and this part was missing it was no longer on my bag and thank goodness i was in my car so what i did is i found it on the floor i got that piece the inside piece was like in this pocket right here and so i got it off the floor and i was just teed off for like three four days and then i actually just ended up having to screw it together myself once i figured out that i could do it myself i did and i screwed this back onto my bag by myself and then i just sat there like irritated <laughs> that it even happened because i'm like what like they're raising their prices but like this is happening to this bag like i have actually heard of that happening a lot i've heard about the chain on a lot of people's bags snapping or breaking i've heard of the locks falling off and if you aren't in a place like a car where you can actually find your lock then if your lock falls off you probably are going to have to pay five six seven hundred dollars to a thousand dollars to get that fixed on your bag and that's my issue with chanel is that the quality is not going up things are falling off the bags hardware is tarnishing on the bags chains are snapping on the bags and you keep raising your prices like that's not happening that is not how luxury should be you know yes when you look up the definition of luxury, this is what it says. And in that capacity, Chanel knows that they have customers that will always purchase from them. Now, here's my thought. Is a Chanel bag still worth it? I'm going to show you my other two Chanel bags really quick. So I have this one. This is a cream colored sorry the light's gonna kind of go in and out this is a cream colored chanel bag and it's the jumbo flap because i like jumbo flaps and on these bags they're usually all one color inside and i love this bag this bag also has been through it because i've worn this quite a lot as well because i don't believe in babying your bags if you buy something if you spend money on it if you're gifted something you use it don't be afraid to use your item. These two bags are the exact same bag, right? They are both caviar. They are both um, they are both jumbo flaps. They are both caviar. The only difference is the color and the hardware. This has a rose gold kind of champagne hardware, and then this has that tarnished gold plating hardware on it that is just completely trash I, I use this bag every single day but you can't deny the fact that this should have real gold this is my newest baby this is lambskin it is a iridescent hardware and it is two-toned okay so this is what it looks like it's still you know the flat bag that you're like used to but it's just smaller 
and on the inside this is what it looks like i have my chain inside the chain on this is very very small but you know still nice so the reason i wanted this there were multiple reasons why i wanted this bag one reason is because i wanted a pop of color the second reason was because of the color way for this bag you don't see many two-tone chanel bags unless they are custom ordered and so for me seeing this i was like i have to have this and i saw um tamara had this bag and she really influenced me to want to find this bag so i got this bag at bergdorf's i have the unboxing for it up there where you can see like me shopping for it and everything but this bag is beautiful you know it's perfect for spring and summer but of course we always have cons we have pros and cons to everything now when it comes to medium versus jumbo this is the size difference okay so this is a medium this is a jumbo so the size difference is pretty you know vast however i also think there's a size difference when it comes to lambskin versus caviar leather and i think whenever you have a lambskin bag i think it's inherently smaller than the caviar leather as well now i don't know why that is so if any of you guys can tell me in the comments below why that is why there's a difference between the size in the lambskin bag versus a caviar skin bag i would really 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 love to know why that is but we all know with a lambskin or with e any either one of these lighter um toned bags you cannot wear jeans with them you cannot wear black jean denim with them you have to be really careful when you wear denim you cannot wear this bag with like blue jeans you cannot wear this bag with anything um that's going to rub off on it so you have to be very careful about the fabric that you wear when you have a lighter colored bag because you don't want to you don't want to stain the bag and that will happen you will stain this bag if you aren't careful in my case i actually think it's worth buying from chanel if and only if the bag is unique this does not mean getting a bag like this from chanel it doesn't mean getting a bag like this from chanel these are not what I think you should buy from Chanel anymore because they're going to be priced astronomically and you can get it on the secondhand market. This looks more like a custom order and that's why I think it's worth it to get this from the Chanel store and pay full price for it if you have the opportunity to unless you see it on a secondhand market somewhere. Spending money on something that not everybody is going to have makes more sense to me than buying or trying to find a white or a black or a tan bag from Chanel when you can find it on a different resale market and probably spend like $3,000 less on it. So that's my thought. Is Chanel worth it? Not so much when it comes to the classic boring leathers like a black, a tan, a white, a cream, a red, you can get all of those on a secondhand market for a lot cheaper and I think you should but for something more limited edition something like a special order an exotic skin something unique then I think that's where Chanel is worth it so yeah that's it you guys I hope you like my little Chanel collection slash like my opinion on the whole price raise situation hopefully this video wasn't too long and you were able to watch it all the way through if you were I really appreciate you and hopefully I will see you very very soon bye